One of the challenges with uptake for HPV vaccines is that it's not required for the school system, and so parents are feeling the responsibility that they need to choose and then think, well, maybe there's a reason I shouldn't get this vaccine. As opposed to thinking, yeah, everyone should get this vaccine. Main parental concerns for injections or for vaccinations for parents typically is related to concerns about long-term side effects or in this case about moral stance. MMR and then HPV are probably the two vaccines with the greatest vaccine hesitancy. MMR, because of the, um, the concern of the autism. correlation with autism, which has now been refuted many, many times. And with HPV, the concern is uh, for parents, for many parents, I think the concern is if I vaccinate my child um, against HPV, am I promoting sexual promiscuity as they get older? What we know is that between 50 and 80% of all sexually active individuals, which is most humans, mm -hmm. will acquire HPV at some point during their lifetime. The recommendation for vaccination of boys is newer, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, compared to the recommendation for females. So both, I think, some physicians and practices are maybe not fully up to date or have not incorporated that into their practice, and the population is not as educated about that as well. Other uh, challenge is that it's a three vaccine series, and uh, many adolescents don't go to the doctor. We really need to be seeing this as a population initiative and not an individual decision. Um, we don't know the risks that our children are going to take in life, and the best thing that we can do is to help protect them when they're young. The vaccine is very safe with very little to no side effects and negative consequences. So there's really very little downside to, to vaccination.